guys doing in there? Well, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over my bow fishing boat build. This is an update. This is a part two. If you haven't seen part one already, I suggest you click up here and you check out part one and watch that first because it's going to give you more context and show you some of the things that I wanted to upgrade that I did, some things that I didn't get to upgrade that I need to, and stuff like that. So I'm going to go over just real briefly how I turn my John boat into a bow fishing boat because it's not always a bow fishing boat. So in this container here are all of my lights. I have 50 waters, this is 100 water, and this guy here is a 300 watt light. It's a big boy. I mount all these lights on and off of the boat. I, I never wanted to have a boat dedicated for bow fishing just because I, I like to go bass fishing. I like to do a lot of other things with it. Just never wanted a boat to be solely for bow fishing. That's why I don't have a rail or anything like that with lights welded fast. This big 300 watt light actually gets mounted onto this brace here. That gets mounted onto here. And I show all of that in the previous video. That's why I'm telling you, go watch that one first. I'm, I just want to show you guys the updates that I've done to the boat. And uh, watching that video first is going to explain a lot more th for this video. So this is a 100 light. This is a 100 watt light. And that gets mounted onto the other side of the trolling motor. Which is something I've changed from the last video. That gets mounted here. I never had that. They used to always go here. Um, which caused a huge blind spot not having that up front. I'd constantly be hitting sticks and logs like it was going out of style. Next is these are a 50 watt light which looks like it needs some attention there. That uh, LED probably shouldn't be like that. So I guess I have some work to do today but how I mount this is really really cool and this is something anyone can make these at home I bought these and reality is I should have just made them myself so this bracket comes with the light this is the part that I bought I bought these off Amazon and they don't make them anymore uh, but like I said anyone who if you can cut metal you can make these all it is is a angle steel it's not aluminum this is steel it's real heavy and then it, they pop riveted uh, this on here these are like spacers because it gets mounted with carriage bolts here and then that's what holds it fast to the boat and it's just bolted fast anyone can make these these are super simple to make so then I have carriage bolts on the boat that go into the track system so there's the carriage bolt and it just slides into the track system and the light gets mounted as such So I run six lights, um, I'd like to add more, that's going to be my winter project this coming winter. Um, I'm always trying to work on the boat and upgrade things, but that's a brief overview of how I set the boat up for bow fishing and then I just run extension cords to the generator with these big uh, doohickeys, I don't even know what you want to call that. And then that gets plugged into the generator. That way I can run six lights. But I want to redo my wiring for next year and just have hopefully one or two wires for all the lights. And then that way 
it just makes so much so much more room I don't have to worry about tripping over wires in the boat especially at night but now that I gave you guys a brief overview of the boat um, I'm gonna go into the upgrades so starting up front like I said I now have two lights up front there's the other one on the trolling motor I put a prop nut on put this on that is new it's handy for getting the prop off and it seems to help with the vibration that I was getting really really bad but the next thing and this is the big elephant in the room I decked the whole boat out with uh, sea decking so the whole boat got covered in this decking this stuff is an absolute lifesaver when you're out on the boat it keeps the boat it keeps the boat cool in the summertime this boat would get so stinking hot you couldn't stand on it with bare feet I installed this this winter um, it was a lot of work to get this prepped and ready but she looks awesome so now <clears throat> the next two things that I did is I got giant trolling motor batteries huge um, I don't even I don't even know what group size they are but they are huge uh, Odyssey batteries they are an AGM and they have 240 minutes of reserve capacity so far I haven't run them out but there they are there's another one in there they are huge batteries I'm, I'm not gonna pull them out they're so stinking heavy <clears throat> which is a downfall of them but I have a ton of time on the water next is That little charger right there yeah with bigger batteries and heavier batteries man Eric was done hauling batteries in and out of the boat so the batteries now stay in and I have a, a 10 amp charger hooked up to them um, they're like almost done charging we ran that trolling motor I was out last night I, we ran that trolling motor really really hard last night so and I think it's got some problems, so I'm probably gonna tear it apart today. But the next feature I added to the boat is <clears throat> some LED strip lights. These things are awesome, makes filming at night really nice, and it gives the boat a ton of light inside so I can see everything. And we have a lot less issues with tripping and all that. Now, what controls those is this switch panel. So right there. So the switch panel has a USB charger and a 12 volt charger, which is super key, especially this USB because of filming. Um, I can charge batteries real quick. I don't have everything hooked up, but this one's for the lights. And this one is for a manual bilge pump. The bilge pump is also new. It also ha has an automatic mode, but in case that doesn't work and we need to pump the water out, I hit that and it sucks all the water out. So right down there is my little bilge pump that comes out, squirts the water out the back. My plans for this are, I'm gonna try to mount this a little better. I don't really like how this is, I just have it sque like squeezed in there for now. I, I got it done in a pinch. I just wanted to have a bilge pump just on the off chance. God forbid we ever fill this boat up with water. I am going to have a fighting chance of not sinking it. The next thing that I did was installed the stern light. So this is mounted onto a ram mount. And it's just a ball and a socket kind of deal. So one, it's, it's really bright. But two, at night when you're going along and you have a tree branch come, tree branch comes, 
lays it down. I bent like three or four of these before I had gotten that. Uh, like the normal like plug-in ones, I bent the piss out of them. And finally, this, I put a lot of work into this boat this year, but the last thing that I did, and it's a doozy, believe me, is I put a storage hatch in here. Now this, this back seat was solid, filled with foam. Um, I needed extra storage, there's minimum storage on the whole boat. All I have is under there, and that gets taken up by my giant batteries. So, I decided I'm gonna cut it open, and I'm gonna make a hatch. So I cut it open, and all the foam inside for flotation was filled with water, which means I was just at it. I probably pulled out 100, 150 pounds of, of saturated foam. So I pulled all that out, and I installed this hatch. So it's real simple, just quarter turn and open. So in here, I have my toolbox, I have anchors, this is my bow light, I have life jackets, I have rope. This, this hatch was ungodly necessary. I have so much storage room in here, and this isn't everything. Everything's just kind of like shushled around from driving last night. But this was a lifesaver. But that is everything that I have done to the boat so far. And I, like I said, so far, I still have a lot that I want to do. Um, Comment below though and let me know what you guys think I should do or maybe some things that would make my life easier on the boat. And if you're new to the channel, please leave a like. It helps my videos reach more people and consider subscribing. So that way, you know, maybe I should do a boat build video and video building up this boat, which will be probably this winter. So that's everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.